Hi there, today I'm going to do a brief overview of List Hub. This is a wonderful tool as it syndicates um, listings basically over 180 different websites. And um, so your listings are getting out there in many, many places. Um, how to get on List Hub is you go to your Incom dashboard, and of course, this is your website. You go down to your Technology Center, and it's the NLD program. List Hub comes up, you sign in, and automatically you are on your dashboard for this reporting, custom reports. Um, it will give you all kinds of information, your listings, uh, search views. Search views is just where it has been seen. It has been uh, looked at, but it has not been clicked on. Detail views is where it's been clicked on, and then it does also generate leads. So this uh, gives us our most leads by publisher, most detail views by publisher, and you can go in detail here and actually look at all of the different things by clicking on it. I'm not going to do that, but um, it does have lots of detail. And that is under the reporting. That's what automatically comes up. There is also the publishers. This tells exactly who um, we are listed with. And you can remove any or select. You can, you know, customize just about any of our features here. But there's all the ratings, it gives you more details. The other thing you can do is you can do the choices, you can do the settings. Um, right now it looks like we are active on 80 different ones. You can do a scorecard comparison. Then there is the inventory. This is your most important tab because it does list all of our inventory. It does automatically pick this up from the MLS and it's available to all of us that have the website. So you can go down all of our listings if you'd like to do that, but you can also just search your own. I do have this on a feature where you can see all of our listings because we do have so many shared properties um, and we do marketing for each other as far as the open houses and such. So I do have it listed where you can view everything. If you would like me to change that and only have your properties in your view, I can do that. I do ask that you don't change any of the settings um, on List Hub, unless it's your own personal. But I do have you set up to view everybody right now. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and search a property, which any of them would come up if I search right here. You can put in your role, who it is, uh, by, you know, you can customize so much here. But anyways, we're going on this property here, and I'm going to show you how to email that report to your sellers. So down here, you can go to the property page, and that'll show you what it looks like. And then we're going to go back. You can share the listing. You can ask questions. You can schedule showings. You can do a whole lot here. Um, but this is basically what the advertisement is going to look like on these sites. I'm going to go back to where I was. There's the seller's report. This is showing exactly how it is performing. There's uh, different options. You can go up here and send or schedule a report, but I'm going to show you the easiest way. So we're going to go back and there's seller email. You never have to click on anything else if you don't want to. If you don't want to see the report yourself or whatever, you can just go to seller email. I do advise that you set this up at listing. That way they can automatically start getting these reports and um, you are in contact basically with them. So you put in the seller's name. If there's two different sellers, you can add that. Uh, you can copy just about anybody if you wanted to copy 
you know, say there's eight brothers and sisters selling, you can put all of that in there if you want. You can send it to multiple email addresses or just the one. You see that this one is listed by Steven, and so it's automatically going to reply to him. You can override that if need be, if you want someone else to be dealing with it. Uh, you can get a copy of this email to you also, or you can uh, bypass that feature. This is an automated um, setup, and I just really advise, unless there's something specific you need to say, to just leave it alone, because it will automatically pre-fill the seller's first name and your agent name, um, and it's just real simple that way. But you can change it however you like. You have the option down here to send it now or not send it now and just set it up for later. Um, if it's at a, a listing, you might not want to send it right off. Or you may, just to show you know that you're starting at a zero. You have the ability to set it up um, every week, uh, twice a month. There's a lot of little options here. Uh, first of the month, first and 15th, or Wednesday, or never. Uh, you can always just print it out and, and mail it if they don't have an email. There are different options of how to view it. There's the market comparison. There's the market comparison showing um, leads is this one here. Without leads is this one here. I personally like the list view because it just gives more detail. Um, let's see here. I'm going to update the preview. And so what you'll see down here at the bottom after you update, to update the preview just shows you exactly what it's going to look like when it goes out. So it's got the name in there. It's got uh, the agent name. This is exactly what it's going to look like when it goes out. And then this is the actual report they get. This one, uh, the list view, it actually lists where it's being seen most and the cities and things like that. I really like this view because it just looks like more. Uh, we can look at the other view. You can change that however you want. I do take the leads out. I don't, I don't like that um, myself, but let's choose this one here and that changes the type of report you get. It has just the little bar. It doesn't have near as much information here. Um, as far as the list, but it, it basically has your same information. So it's up to you on what you want sent. And then after you get all of the blanks filled in and you've got it the way that you want it, you just push the submit right here and that's set however you want for the remainder until um, you come back in here and reset it or it, the property sales. So that is a, you know, a basic function. You can go to this email marketing um, tab up here and that will show you all of the sites. This is a great tool to print off and have in your portfolio because you can customize these uh, reports over here. And basically what that does is you just print it out and it shows you all of the places that they are listed. And great tool there because it's real simplified saying hey look where we have posted your listing tons and tons of different sites um this is an advantage that i would recommend that everybody uses there's also this form here that you can print out and it just basically states that we have an advantage with list hub because we do syndicate the listing out more than most so that is list of if you have any questions just contact me there is also um, I think always a tutorial on YouTube if you just search list hub how-to tutorials if you need any further assistance thank you